Hello everybody, welcome to another episode. In today's tutorial, I am going to be teaching you tables in HTML. But first, subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so in order to get started with this tutorial, we are going to be using the same web page that we have been working so far in this course. And uh, we are going to be using the same code that we have written down so far as well. So in order for you to learn tables, we're going to use the same resource, which is W3 school. So let's go ahead and open that up. Here we go. So here we have HTML tables. So what is a table? A table, as it says in W3 schools, is, um, is something that allows web developers to arrange data into rows and columns. So it's like an Excel sheet, right? But without having that many um, tools in order to control the data. It, it, it just looks like an, an Excel sheet. It's going to have rows and columns, okay? So let's take a look at the, uh, this as an example. This is a table, all this information right here. It has a comp the company names, it has contact information, and it has their country, right? So in order to create a table here on HTML, we have to use the tag table, which is going to define that this, is, that this information that we're going, or this code that we're going to be writing down, it's for a table. So this is the tag that we're going to be using for each row that we add into our table, we're going to use the tag TR inside of our table tag. And inside of a, of each um, table uh, row, you have to add either a header or a table data. A header is this right here, is the company, contact, and country. And then the table data is what, uh, what the, the company name, like an example here. Alfred, um, Ernst, Island. So all that is a table data. All these is a table data and the countries as well is a table data. And then the table header is the company, contact and country. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but let's go ahead and take a look into how do we convert this into a table in HTML. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's use, as it says here, the table uh, tag, okay? So we're going to open our source code. And after the last order list we did yesterday, I am going to include a table now. So let's type in here table. And let's close this. And let's make sure to just give, give it some space, right? So here is our table tag, the opening and the closing. Now inside of this, we want to add a table row. So we are going to use TR for that. And we are going to close this TR, which, is, which stands for table row, okay? Um, the first table row that we want to create is going to include TH, which is going to be the header. Okay, now here we have an exam in the example, a company, a contact and a country. So what I want to add in my table is a company, the car model and the country. Let's just continue working with cars because what the hell, right? <laughs> so, okay, so in order to add the table header, we're going to input here company. So table header, you have to use the tag TH, okay? And we have to close that. And we're going to input the name of this table head as company. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this and I am going to simply paste it two more times because in this section, we're going to add a, instead of contact, let's just put here cars, uh, car brand, let's just name it car brand. <laughs> and then the country where this car was created. Okay, so there we go. We have three table heads. I'm going to save this information so that you can see how this is looking into our web page. Okay, so let's go to our web page. Okay, right now I haven't hit refresh, and all we have is the last order list we created yesterday, right here. So let's go ahead and hit refresh because I already saved the information by hitting Control S in here. So let's do refresh and. Boom, there we go. We have our table header 
company, car brand, and then the country. Okay, so that's our table head. That's why it's also bold, as you can see there. Okay, now let's add our table data into this table. So to do that, we're going to go back here, okay? And we are going to add another table row. So let's go ahead and put here table row because we're going to be inputting some data inside of the table uh, itself. So the table row, it has a table data. So TD, it's for table data. So what's gonna be the company name of our first data? Um, the company is gonna be, I don't know, let's call it Mexico Company, CO, Mexico CO. Okay, now I'm going to copy this data and I am going to paste it two times more. The car brand for Mexico Co is going to be, I don't know, let's say Toyota. And the country is going to be Mexico. Okay, now I'm going to save this information and let's take a look and see how it looks like into our code right here. Okay, so let's refresh. And there you go. So the company is Mexico Co, the car brand is Toyota, and the country is Mexico. Okay. Oh, I left Mexico with CO. Let's just remove the CO and let's just leave it Mexico. Okay, so let's go back to our code and let's just delete CO here. Let's save this and um, let's refresh. There you go. So country Mexico. Good. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just add two more table data into this table. To do that, I'm simply going to paste the entire table data code that we wrote down inside of our table tag, okay? Which is this portion right here, because uh, this is going to be the same format that we're going to use to include the other two table data. So we're going to add four countries so that you can see the table itself. So let's copy all this information and let's just paste it one, two, three times more. Okay, now the first uh, table row is um, the first table data after Mexico Co is going to be, let's say, uh, um, I don't know, let's say Texas Co and the brand is going to be uh, Ford and the country is going to be here, United States. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's name this other table data. Mm, instead of Mexico Co, let's call it um, Nicaragua Co. <laughs> Co. Okay, and the brand, let's say, is going to be, hmm, let's say Mazda. And the country is going to be Nicaragua. Okay, and then finally, the last piece of data that we're adding into this table is going to be, uh, let's see, Mexico, Colombia, Colombia Co. The brand in Colombia, let's say it's a Hyundai, and the country is Colombia. Colombia. Okay, so let's save all this information that we just wrote down in here, and... Let's see how it looks like beneath here. So let's just hit refresh, boom, and there you go. Now we have all of our information inside of this table. Now, as you can see, this table doesn't have a style, like the information is not center. It doesn't have like a cute square around it because we do that with CSS. And I am not going to get myself ahead here explaining how to add some style into this because I am going to create a course for every single one of you after HTML, which is going to be for CSS. Okay, so for now, um, this that I'm teaching you guys today is just how to create a table. So there you go. That, that's how you do it. Now, we can add a caption to this table as well, just so you know. And um, let's just... Uh, go ahead and go back to our W3 schools. And if you go ahead and you read a little bit more about tables in here and you scroll a little bit down, uh, let's go just a little bit down here. I just want to show you how to do this. So there you go. So under the HTML uh, table document, we can add a caption using the caption tag. 
Why do we use this? Just to call and name our table. What type of table is it? Okay. And you can name it whatever you want. So let's just go ahead and let's put a caption. The caption should be displayed right after the table tag and before all our rows that we have been adding. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. We're going to go a little bit up and after the table tag, we're going to include our caption. Okay. So caption and we close the tag. And we're going to call this table my car companies just like that <laughs> okay let's save this info and let's go back to our web page and we're going to refresh this and the caption should be displayed here so let's see there you go so now this table is called my car companies that's the caption that we have for this table in particular Really easy, and that's how you create a table. So I hope that you learn a lot in this lesson. If you wanna keep on researching into how to make more things with table, feel free to visit W3 Schools and go to the table section and make sure to read the entire article in what other things you can do with tables, okay? So that's it, everybody. That was all for today. And tomorrow I am going to be uploading another tutorial. Make sure to stay tuned. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Because as I said before, I am always uploading new videos with useful information about web development and much more. As always, if you have a question, you can leave that in the comment section below. And remember that you can always ask Lixie. Bye everyone. See you again in another episode.